What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Lothaxi, and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, of course, it is time once again to jump back into some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today, of course, we're back on the test realm, and oh my goodness me, <laughs> we've got so many things to see today. Um, Yeah, so here we go, three, two, one, clip the hive. How are we all doing? I hope you guys are good. Yeah, so basically, like, since we started this test realm, people have been submitting all of these amazing things that they've been able to find. We've been working together as a team. And yeah, we've discovered so many things which are going to be included in this next update. So today, we've pretty got much like We've got a bit of everything. We've got some pictures. We've got some video. Uh, we've got like some new items to look at. We've got the abilities that they give. And we've also got some words from Onnit himself about this next update. And some of them are very, very good news. So yeah, just super duper quickly, before we begin here with today's episode, just a quick reminder, if anyone doesn't know, I do actually have my very own Roblox star code. Um, so yeah, you'll see it like pop up in the videos and stuff, in case you're ever wondering what that is. Basically, if you ever uh, are gonna go and grab yourself any Robux, or if you're gonna go and grab yourself a Ro uh, Roblox like premium membership, which used to be called Builders Club, uh, and you go to the checkout on the PC, there is a little option at the bottom, which allows you to submit a star code. So this doesn't cost any extra money or anything like that, but if you type that in and you use my code, which is Thanksia, then this will help directly support me, the videos we make, and uh, yeah, that would be absolutely amazing if you wanted to do that. So yeah, if you do use my style code, which is Thanksia, please do let me know. I would love to just say thank you to you. Um, so yeah, once you click the little button, it clicks submit, and then you just carry on with your purchase. And after you've finished, it will say thank you very much for supporting thanks here or something like that so yeah if you sent me a screenshot of that bit that would be really really cool uh, especially because we're going to be going super duper hard on the beast swarm i'm going to try and get you guys as much beast swarm content as possible and other roblox games and stuff um yeah so just a quick one if you do want to use my star code thanks here then please do that would be absolutely incredible just really help support the series supports me and the game uh, and yeah that would be amazing anyway should we get into some hot spicy beast swarm action i think so Okay, so yeah, usual sort of stuff. I'm just going to go and plop around in the background. Uh, I kind of want to just do my usual thing. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello, sausage. Activated Honey Day event. Use this buff to help speed things up. Oh! Whoa! Why does it keep giving me it? Oh, it's just a permanent buff. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. So, uh... Yeah, in case you want to just get some extra grinding done, I guess Honor has given us just like an endless honey day event buff, which is two times pollen and two times conversion rate. Um, so I guess that kind of just helps with general bits and pieces. So yeah, that's outside the, um, the, the mushroom field now, which is sort of cool. Kind of nice. Anyway, so I feel like we should um, get stuck in straight away, and we've got some very, very cool things to see. However, I think first, maybe let's hear from Onnit himself. Um, so yeah, this is a screenshot which was submitted by Rami. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of cool. Basically, this was from fairly recently. And on it here is talking about the update. So from what I can establish from this screenshot and stuff, it says it's close and I'm trying to finish it for the upcoming weekend. That is really good news. Uh, if I can't make it by then, then I think 100% it will be ready the weekend after that. I know normally my dates aren't accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the memes. Um, but he'll think he'll finish it up by then because there's not too many more issues that he has left to do. So, fingers crossed, potentially, we are going to get a weekend update. And I know a lot of you guys are back at school now and stuff. Um, but yeah, this would be a really, really nice little treat for everyone. I mean, it would have been amazing if it would have come out like over the summer holidays and stuff. Although I know not everyone has the same summer holidays. But it's going to be a really nice weekend treat. Uh, but yeah, he says that if it doesn't happen this weekend, then most likely it's going to be next weekend. What we can establish from that, and uh, yeah, I don't know 100% yet, but I would kind of say that it's definitely coming in September. <laughs> That's kind of how I would leave it for now. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we get an update this weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. So yeah, just a couple more extra things here from on it, and then we're gonna get into some some other juicy stuff. Uh, this one is from Alexis, so thank you very much for sending these in. Uh, there's two of these here, which I guess are like the most interesting ones for me. Uh, so the first one up here right now is that he wanted to do a special mob for the pepper patch, but he'll probably add it later on. So this is kind of cool, like. 
there's two new fields up at the top right. You've got the coconut field and you've got the pepper patch. Uh, and the coconut crab lives in the coconut field. And then apparently there's going to be a special mob in the pepper field. So this is kind of strange. Like, you don't normally get specialized mobs in every single field. Um, which is just something that doesn't really exist. But um, there seems to be like a huge increase of mobs in the game. And I actually really like that. Because we've always had, you know, the uh, the ladybugs and we've had the, uh, you know, the spider and the mantis and all that kind of thing. But moving on and going to more like end game zones, we're going to have like more specialized mobs. So, you know, we obviously got like old Stumpy, uh, which is really cool. <laughs> I know it takes ages to take down, but I've, I've always quite liked old Stumpy. I think it's a really clever idea. Um, but yeah, that's kind of good news. And the second one here is, this one is a bit mad. He says the max B level will now be level 20. But the amount of bond for each level past 15 is ridiculous. So I guess like, um, I don't know. I don't think this is necessarily like a very important change. Don't get me wrong. Like there will be people that will get like level 16, level 17, level 18, level 19, maybe even some level 20s. I'm sure that's going to happen, especially when, you know, like the numbers are moving into trillions and stuff. Um, but yeah, I was fairly happy with like 10. <laughs> I mean, I'm also very happy with, like, 15. Um, but, yeah, apparently it's going up to 20, which I know is madness. But, hey, some people will do it. Okay, moving on to another one of these new items. Now, we've seen lots of stuff to do with the coconuts. So, the coconut itself seems like, you know, a pretty cool item, actually. And we have been given some in the game, and they allow us to, uh, you know... To, to drop coconuts so if you didn't see that already i've got them on my hotbar number one here and basically how they work is if i click the number one it puts a coconut in the field speed oh i missed it <laughs> and you've got to like try and get underneath the coconut and in theory if the coconut breaks over your head you get like a load of honey tokens so i feel like this one is oh go 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 yeah there we go this one is kind of cool and sort of useful and i kind of feel it's also good for if you're collecting honey token quests but the coconut is also multi-purpose so it's also used for crafting recipes and it's also used in a recipe for a new item so yeah i've been sent like quite a few of these but i feel like this one was the clearest picture so we're gonna roll with this one i guess um but thank you to everyone who sent them in i really appreciate it um yeah this one is sent by sean and he actually sees inside the blender inside the sprinkler shop uh there is a new recipe added for the tropical drink so as you can see here uh, in order to make one tropical drink you need 10 coconuts you need one enzyme and you need one oil and this gives you a tropical drink which grants a 1.25 uh, times white pollen a plus five percent critical chance for 10 minutes so basically it's a white field pollen boosty drink uh, and i feel like this is going to work really really well with um the coconut field and speaking of the coconut field we also have if i get myself the thing popped up here ha 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 bendy the dancing demon oh side note i really miss bendy the ink machine i know they're like working on a new one and stuff but oh, i miss it i want to play some bendy again I mean, I'm not going to play it again because we've already played the whole thing, but I want some new Bendy, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, he submitted a screenshot of one of the new badges. Now, this one is nuts. So, on it did say, and I don't know if I included this in the video, but he said that he's going to make a couple of the new badges ridiculous. And it's just so people have, like, you know, like super duper uber endgame players have something extra to do, I guess. Um, but yeah, the Coconut Grandmaster badge, as you can see right here, uh, in order to get the Grandmaster in this field, you have to collect one trillion pollen from the coconut field. <laughs> now that's a lot of pollen. Um, that is an awful lot of pollen. But I suppose as the game progresses with bigger backpacks and better collectors and higher level Bs and higher level buffs and higher instant conversion, I guess it's doable. I don't know. I've never tried it. It sounds mad. Having said that, I'm quite fortunate. I've got a bunch of marshmallow bees still on my main account, so I feel like those are also going to be really useful. All right, you know what? Just because I trolled myself last episode, <laughs> I, I, I mentioned it last time, I accidentally went and bought two left shoulders, which was super annoying. Uh, I'm just going to go and buy a right shoulder. I know it's not like the most important thing in the world, but I've kind of committed to the shoulder pads now, and I kind of want to, kind of want to sort it out. Yeah, I bought both of these by accident. <laughs> What have we got here? We've got hasty, uh, capacity and move speed, and capacity and colorless bee attack. Uh, let's go with a... Oh! No! I need moon charms! I really haven't been collecting moon charms. 
All right, well, I guess we'll just go with the brave one for now, because why not? Okay. So, uh, this one is quite funny, actually. This is a follow-up from last episode. So, this dude here, Balbin, he sent, like, a screenshot of this really weird drawing, which is found inside the drop-down secret area behind the Ace Place Honeycomb shop. Um, so we actually saw a video, um, from another... She was, a, a like, a lady who submitted the video of how you get down there. So that was in last episode. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I basically said in the game, I was like, is this a troll? <laughs> Turns out, no. <laughs> so yeah, my dude over here actually sent a video of him going down. So you can see that right now. And yeah, there is this weird drawing which is located down here. So we saw this last episode in screenshot form. It's basically got some like weird drawings of various things to do with Bee Swarm. Not too sure why it's down here. It could just be just a bit of a fun joke or whatever. Or it could just be, you know, to do with maybe something that's going to happen down there. I feel like because it's a big square room. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love, like, an underground field or something. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like maybe it's going to be some kind of boss area or a mini game or something like that. I don't know. It's still super strange, but very cool. Oh yeah, side note as well. Uh, we're going to go and look at two of the new items, including um, the uh, stats and abilities that they give. These ones are really cool. Um, but yeah, just like a side note, we did actually find out that, I think it was last episode, we found just a random aphid, we took it down, and it actually gave us bond towards our bees. Um, so this was amazing. It gave us one and a half thousand bond, I think. Um, so yeah, this is going to be one, especially when you are lower level um, and, you know, I, I think this is the thing, like, you know, there might still be people who might start this game from scratch or people that maybe want to come back to it with the new update. Uh, finding those aphids and getting that extra bond, really, 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 really good when it comes to adding some extra bond to your bees. Um, so yeah, definitely I feel like the aphids are going to be super useful. Yeah, they drop items, which is always good, but I do actually feel, especially at lower B levels, that extra bond is going to be really, really good. Um, so I don't know if the bond scales up, that's one thing that I haven't been able to see just yet, but it would be really cool if the higher level, the aphid, maybe the armoured one or the rage one, it gave you different bond. And I definitely think if the B level is going up to like 20, <laughs> which is mad, um, then yeah, that extra bond just for sort of taking down an aphid or two, I think that's really good. Anyway, whilst we just stand here with the Pumpkin of Justice, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Joshua over here, now I did see like a few of these as well, um, but yeah, these ones were like super clear screenshots, so we went with these ones just so we can see them nicely on the camera, uh, on the camera, on the video, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, Joshua sent these in and uh, yeah, he got into the brand new pedal store and we actually can now see the stats and the abilities that these two new items give. Um, so let's start with this one. This is the petal belt. Now, I would imagine that the prices and obviously what you need to make these is completely wrong currently. I'm sure they'll be updated, but we can actually see what the item does. So the petal belt is now the upgrade on the honeycomb belt, and it says, drape these petals about your waist to harness unlimited flower power. <laughs> <laughs> which is so cool. So yeah, the belt gives 150,000 capacity, a plus 50% capacity boost, 125 conversion amount, it gives you 100% luck, uh, a 50% honey from tokens boost, a 25% buzz bomb pollen, a one plus colorless bee attack, and the passive is an ability called Petal Storm. So I definitely feel like with a lot of these new items, Going through the game and stuff, we had, you know, the red HQ and we've had the blue HQ and a lot of the items have been red and blue focused, but I kind of feel like moving on through maybe slightly higher tier, uh, we're starting to see a lot more improvement towards white pollen collection, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it just gives the player like much more of a choice as to how they want to like, you know, build their character and stuff, especially with the Windy Bee coming up. It totally makes sense. Um, so yeah, whilst I try not to die to the scorpion, <laughs> let's, uh, oh! Steady, steady, steady. There we go, fantastic. Uh, yeah, the next item in here is, of course, the Petal Wand. So this is one of two new collectors, actually, and I haven't mentioned the second collector because it's not been a huge amount of information, just apart from some screenshots, but I will show you it. Um, so yeah, this is the Petal Wand. Uh, now, this bad boy collects five pollen from 37 patches. That is a huge AoE, like, radius. I like the sounds of that. Uh, it does it in 0.7 seconds and boosts it by 60%. Uh, so this seems like a really, really powerful collector. 
I can't wait to make this one. This is going to be so cool. And it also says every third swing, third swing, which is not very many swings, it fires a petal shuriken that causes bees to instantly convert pollen. Um, this is... That's so cool. So Shuriken is like, you know, the ninja throwing stars that they throw. So it's going to like throw out one of those. And I don't know if it's going to cause every single one of your bees to uh, instantly convert. Or it's just going to be like a select amount of bees. But I really like the sounds of that. That sounds amazing. Um, so yeah, I definitely like want to prioritize getting all of this new gear as soon as possible. So we can get like the petal wand. We can get the petal belt. We can get the um, coconut canister. And yeah, speaking of extra collectors, this one is so strange. So I've seen this image pop up a bunch of times, but it's never been like a super duper clear image. Um, but it seems like, uh, well, this is this is an account that I've seen tweet me loads of times. So thank you, dude. This is Beast Swarm Simulator Leaks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this one is the Honey Hammer. So I've seen this loads. Now, actually, if you if you uh, zoom into this, well, I'll zoom into this for you guys. Uh, well, there we go. Boom. Uh, you can actually see that Onnit himself is in the screenshot. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the honey hammer is something that I don't think it's, like, physically in a store just yet, um, like, in the game, but he has talked about the honey hammer quite a lot, and obviously it is in development because Onnit himself is holding this hammer. So I don't know whose screenshot this actually is. It might actually be the account owner, so that's cool if it is. Um, but, yeah, that's the honey hammer. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Now, I've got another screenshot of it just to kind of show you guys. This is the one that I've seen loads, but it's always been, like, really grainy. This one isn't too bad. Um, and you can see the size of it <laughs> compared to the field. It's huge. Um, now, I don't really know what the honey hammer is all about. Is it as good as the petal collector? Is it better? Is it a future item? Is it going to be in the game at all? Is it just an item that Onnit is going to have? Is it going to be a reward? Is it going to be, like, a... <laughs> I don't know. It's mad though, right? So yeah, as you can see, we have a really, really nice amount of extra information here today. So just once again, thank you to everyone who submitted stuff. Uh, yeah, if you do see anything else that pops up. See, here's the thing, right? If the update is going to be coming out this weekend or if it's going to be coming out like the weekend after, I'm sure there might be like an extra thing or two that on it might want to test. Um, so yeah, if you are playing on this test realm and stuff, then, uh, you know, you do see anything different that you haven't seen in the videos, please do let me know, send me a tweet or something like that, that would be amazing. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to jumping back on the main account and just, you know, having some fun with it. Um, yeah, I haven't played on the main account for a little while, I've kind of just been mainly making videos over on this test realm. Uh, but I hope, like, this is the thing, I hope, based off what we've seen so far, and this is what Onnit said, he said that, like, based off the amount that the prices are going to be, I feel like we should be able to afford everything. And we'll be able to get into all of the zones straight away. So that's kind of where, like, the main party is going to be. But I do like playing on this realm just to kind of get those teasers. And you guys have been amazing with all of these screenshots and stuff. Um, because, you know, some of these things you just get into randomly. You get in by luck. You actually have to, like, grind super long to even get there in the first place. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really cool to show you guys these things in videos. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, I feel like that's probably going to be about it for this episode here today. We may have, like, an extra Beast Swarm episode or two this week. Uh, based off if anything gets added into the test realm. Uh, I would like to see as much stuff as possible, but who knows? And, uh, yeah, if not, I mean, I hope we'll see you at the weekend. <laughs> That's when the spiciness is going to happen. I'm so excited. Uh, but, yeah, just another quick reminder that if you do want to use my star code at any point, um, Banksy is my star code. You just type it in on the desktop version of Roblox if you're buying any Robux or, like, a premium uh, membership. It doesn't cost anything extra. Directly supports me, the channel, be swarm, and all that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, I would really appreciate it. That would be amazing. Um, if you don't want to, that's all good. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. Let me go and hand into Science Bear. There we go. There you go, Sausage. That good? Oh, jeez, I forgot how much you talked. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty off!